So guys, let me show you how to create this text on fire effect using Apple Motion on your Mac in less than 10 minutes. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna to have to do is open Apple Motion up, obviously. So I'm gonna open Apple Motion and then you can set your project size and a preset for your video. So if you want broadcast HD 720, I'm on, currently on 1080. Uh, you can have yours on whatever you want, 4K. Um, I'm gonna set the duration to 15. Again, you can alter these once you get into your project, but um, these are what mine are set at at the moment and a frame rate of 29.97. So I'm going to create that and then open that up in Apple Motion. So this is my initial window that we get. Um, you can see I've got my current background set to black here. It is already going to be transparent when we export it. I've purely left it on black so we can see what we're working to. Um, let me just make it a bit smaller so you can see the bounding box around the actual outside. But if you like working on white, then you can just push the command key and J, which will bring up your uh, project property box. Obviously in here you've got the duration and stuff that we were just talking about, uh, your broadcast quality and stuff like that. But you can change the background color here, you'll notice by clicking on that. Uh, and then I can go to white, for example. I'm gonna leave it on black because it's easier to see the, um, the central um, lines which draw on in a second, which you'll see in a second uh, when I put my text on. Okay, so that's my um, project properties. So I'm gonna go and put some text in. So I'm gonna go to the text tool here, click on that and then click on text. And I'm gonna drag my text box onto my window like so. And then in here, I'm going to put some text and I'm going to put my caps on. I'm going to type on fire, on fire baby, like so. Highlight it, I'm going to centralize that, like so. I'm going to centralize it, like so, that way as well, in the vertical. And I'm going to increase the size so it's I'm going to fill my bounding box. And there we go. And now I can actually move that around and make sure the box is central to my window by left clicking and then just dragging along and you'll see the yellow line draw now. And then if I move it left and right, I can then pick up on that axis as well. And now I'm dead center to my workspace, which is what I want. Um, you don't necessarily have to make sure it's central, but that's just some, the way I like to work. So now I know that my um, text bounding box is central to my workspace. I can now add an effect. Now the effect is something that is built into Apple Motion and it's in your libraries and it is really powerful the way that Apple Motion works and the way some of the things that has it built into Apple Motion, bearing in mind that this is, uh, I think it's about 50 pound in UK, I think it's about a similar amount in dollars. Uh, so it's not a lot of money. It, it's a one-off payment. Once you've bought it, you've bought it and you can put it on any Mac you've got. They update it as well with current updates. So it's really good. It's not like the Adobe where you're paying for it you know, month in, month out. This is 50 pound in money and that's it. So getting back to the actual tutorial, let's have a look on the side. So what we want is a particle emitter, which is these ones here. And then make sure you've got, obviously I picked on library, particle emitter, and then you can pick on what you want. I'm gonna go for pyro, cause it's um, on fire baby. <laughs> and you can pick any of these at the moment. So, you know, you could go for Corona, which looks like a bit like the eye off Lord of the Rings, uh, gas torch, oil fire i might go for the oil fire i think i'll go for the oil fire i think so i'm going to pick this oil fire i'm going to drop it drag and drop it underneath my text over here in this uh my layers in my layers window so i'm just going to pick the oil fire and i'm going to left click and then drag it up into the underside of my text let go like so so now we've got oil fire selected in our pyro and particle emitter in apple motion if I push play on the playhead of my timeline, you'll notice that the fire actually sits behind the text, which is a nice effect in itself, but that's not what we're aiming for with this tutorial. We want the fire to be inside the text. So let's scrub back to the beginning and let's head over to our tech. Make sure we have text selected. So I'm gonna pick up on text in the layers window here. And I'm gonna pick the inspector tool to inspect my text. And I wanna to go to my properties window like so. And then in here, there's one called blend mode. And we are looking for the stencil alpha. So we're gonna go down to stencil alpha, click stencil alpha, and let's see what that looks like. So I'm just gonna unselect the actual text so we can get a clear run, click play. And now we're getting somewhere. So now you can see the actual fire behind the actual text with that effect. But what we need to do is make the fire a bit bigger. So I'm gonna pick up on the 
fire in my layers and you can see it currently is bound to this work area sort of in the center of my text so let me just make my text a little bit smaller my work window a bit small i'm going to drag making sure i have my oil fire selected my particle emitter selected in the layers window i'm going to left drag on uh, drag on that node right click on the right node and drag that one across as well until i can see the most of my wording so you can see that's pretty much covered it might leave a little bit of the edges because that'll be a nice transparency effect as it's uh, applied to uh, the video i'm going to put this onto so now let me scrub to the beginning unselect the fire so it's it gives us a clear window push play and then we have this nice text effect uh, particle emitter in apple motion uh, applied to a text and you can see there it, it jumps off uh, you can change the time and duration that this is on uh, like i say i'm on a 15 second uh, timeline um, and it's finishing the text effect at the uh, 10 second mark i'll leave it uh, as it is set and you can see you can just export it as it is uh, just to keep this video as short as possible so we've got a great effect now working with our text so now we just need to export it and again this is really simple you don't really have to do anything in here all you need to do is go to file then go to share I'm going to export movie now if you've had a play around in here and you've been changing a few settings you don't really need to do anything uh, differently from the default settings so if you've changed something then you just need to pay attention to what i'm doing here but let's call it something uh, on fire baby like so i might leave it in capitals and then the settings same as source video codec you don't even some people might pick up on the apple pro 444 you don't need that in apple motion because it's already going to go into export the video uh, as an alpha channel so color uh, color channels is color and alpha i'm going to do the entire project just for the sake of this video and then i'm going to click next and then because it's apple motion um let me put this again on here on fire baby I'm going to save it into a folder I created earlier. This text on fire. Click save. And then it should open the window up pretty much straight away, which it has. And then we can push play on this and make sure the text effect has worked. So now we've got the text effect. And it'll play to about the 10 seconds mark and then it will go off. Uh, so 7, 8, 9, and then 10. And then drop off because that was where it was on the timeline. I was explaining before. So we'll get rid of that. So now what we can do, we can add this into any movie um, editing software that we are using. So if you're using Adobe, you can drag it into that. If you're using Final Cut Pro, you can drop it into that. And you can even use it in iMovie, which comes free on your Mac. So say you bought Apple Motion for the £50 uh, and you wanted to use it on a free video editing software that's built into the Mac, then obviously just open iMovie up and work with that. So I'll quickly just open iMovie up and then we'll add this in. Let me just make this a bit bigger. Uh, like so let's import some media let's get zip line in and the text we've, that's the text we've just created so i'm going to import both of them uh, i'm just giving this video so we've got a bit of uh, something to put it against so i'm just going to drag this video in onto the timeline and i'll drag it in twice uh, just so we've got it with the effect on it on the video twice like I said, when I was creating it, mine are 15 seconds long um, and obviously a 10 second with the text showing. So let's hit play and then see what it looks like. I'll make it full screen. Like so. And there we go, there's the text. Now if I just pause it here, you'll really see the effect. You can see it's transparent through the actual text. So it's a really nice effect that uh, Apple Motion gives to this uh, text on fire uh, using Apple Motion. You see the transparency on either side, and that's because of the alpha channel and the way that Apple Motion exports movies. So a really powerful tool uh, and a really nice and cheap tool. Thinking, you know, the Adobe products where you're buying uh, monthly subscriptions. This one is uh, 50, you know, 50 pounds UK money and whatever the equivalent to that is in the States. So $40, it's for nothing really. You know, once you own it, you own it completely. Uh, every time you buy a new Mac, you can install it again. So it's not like Adobe where you're paying them a monthly fee uh, for the rest of your life. This is bought and purchased and working. So that is it. That's how to create the text on fire effect using Apple Motion. Really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do subscribe to my channel. 
please do hit the bell icon to be alerted to any new videos I make. And hit with any suggestions and comments below. They are always appreciated. And thanks again for watching the Computer Lab.